to do now what I call a four-way challenge uh, to test for, um, for ligamentous stability for the um, proximal interphalangeal joint. And I'm just using ring finger here because it's probably the most um, commonly injured one that I see in my clinic. Um, so you go to orthopedics and you have a suspected injury, say after a dislocation injury, and you have a suspected uh, uh, collateral ligament injury or volar plate injury, something like that. Ortho is just going to take your hand and just shove your finger uh, and set your hair on fire. I found that you can be much kinder than that. You can have the client push into you, and so if I tell her to push into my finger this direction, and she can barely, barely, barely push at all, and she looks like her hair's about to set fire, well then that's a really strong indicator that that ligament may actually be completely torn, and we're going to need to do a really conservative treatment. If she can give me a fair, you know, modest amount of pressure, but tells me, you know, yes, when I push that way, it's, it's painful here, well then I know that uh, hopefully that the, the ligament is intact and that for sure we can resolve this with conservative management through occupational therapy, you know, splinting and protected activity and that it's not going to be a surgical problem. She's not going to need surgery. So four-way challenge, going to have her press this way, okay? So, uh, and, and then each time she's going to tell me where, if at all, she feels pain. Um, and then this way. So, you know, you never know where the patient's going to point to for pain, but when I'm doing this, typically if I'm, if I'm having her push this way, I'm looking for pain to the ulnar, ulnar side, um, so suspicion for ulnar collateral ligament injury. If I have her pull in this way, and she says the pain is to here, then that would be radial collateral ligament injury. Um, have her push up, you know, could be a dorsal hood extensor mechanism injury if she shows me pain here and then pushing down um, if, if she shows me pain here to the side then it could be a volar plate injury and then we would treat accordingly but that's a nice simple way that you can do uh, testing for collateral ligaments and volar plate and dorsal injury for the PIP.